This is brain tissue. This is your brain. This is your chicken's brain. Any questions? So this metaphor actually comes from avian biologist Nathan Emery in his book, Bird Brain, which is a wonderful book about bird intelligence written for the lay person. And what he's saying is that bird brains and primate brains are actually quite similar. They appear to be very different because they're structured differently. Our brains have all these folds, bird brains are smooth, but they're actually made from the same stuff and they function quite similarly. I wanted to bring this up to you today because in just the past 25 to 30 years, scientists' views of bird intelligence have been completely revolutionized. So until fairly recently, most scientists actually believed that birds were very similar to fish and insects and that they were driven primarily by instinct. And they would put that in stark contrast to mammals who were capable of very complex thinking and learning. And these old ideas go way back to this guy, Ludwig Ettinger. This was a scientist from the late 1800s who was known as the father of comparative anatomy. This guy classified parts of the bird brain completely incorrectly, and he classified them based on the old bias that birds are really dumb. And it wasn't until the year 2004 until scientists actually got together and reclassified the avian brain. They finally renamed all these parts of the bird brain to reflect what the research actually shows, which is that their brains aren't wired primarily for instinctive behavior. They are wired primarily for complex cognition. So in other words, bird brains are actually quite functionally similar to the brains of primates. And so much so that some avian biologists are actually referring to birds as feathered apes. Huh? Or could it be instead that apes are just hairy birds? But unfortunately, many people today are still spreading the myth that birds are dumb and our chickens get especially hard hit with this. I have actually heard even vegans and vegan activists arguing that the factory farming of chickens, though bad, is much more acceptable than the factory farming of pigs and cows because chickens are so dumb. They actually will argue that chickens are less conscious than mammals and therefore they suffer less. For example, a while back, the YouTube channel Vox put out this incredible video on how if people just stopped eating chicken, and not any other animals, if you just stopped eating chicken, that you could stop the majority of the suffering of factory farm animals because chickens make up such a large percentage of the lives that are factory farm. Literally billions of chickens die in factory farms every year. And the responses to this video show just how ignorant people are about chicken intelligence. And I'm not here to tell you what to eat. I just wanna show you how prevalent these views of chicken stupidity are and that this matters because this really negatively affects chicken welfare. So here are just some of the responses from the Vox video and these are very representative of what you'll see there. Firstly, this doesn't consider that cows and pigs are more intelligent than chickens, which is important in regards to questioning can they suffer. Wow, I drew the line differently. I would rather stop eating beef and pork and dairy as both cows and pigs are more intelligent than dogs and I feel more empathy for them and I'd continue eating chicken. Or how about this one? Mammal brains are extremely similar to our own. Birds still possess reptilian type brains, meaning they lack certain lobes that all mammals have. While I still have some moral dilemma eating anything with consciousness, I feel that non-mammals are measurably less conscious. These people sure act like they know what they're talking about and these beliefs are super common, but they are so, so wrong. And you might have heard the argument before that birds don't have a prefrontal cortex and therefore they don't have the same intelligence that mammals do. However, scientists do now believe that even though birds really don't have a prefrontal cortex, they do have an equivalent structure in their brain. It's a particular part of the nidopallium referred to as the NCL. 
And if you're totally clueless why the prefrontal cortex is such a big deal, it's because that's the part of the brain that many people attribute our humanness to. So avian biologist Nathan Emery says, this area has been attributed to roles in personality, the theory of mind, self-awareness, problem solving, and executive functions such as planning, flexibility, and working memory. And yes, chickens are highly capable of all of those behaviors too, thanks to their NCL. And if you've spent time hanging out with your chickens, then you've surely noticed by now just how smart they really are and how much personality they really have, despite the fact that our society tells us that they're total idiots. And now you know for sure you're not crazy, you're just a bird brain. And I mean that as the highest possible compliment. And if you really wanna know what your chickens are capable of, then you need them to trust you and you need them to feel like they can fully be themselves around you. And the best way to get them to feel that way is to imprint them on you as chicks. So if you wanna learn exactly how to do that and how to actually trick your baby chicks into believing that you're their mama hen, then this video is for you.